So we were trying to eat here in Dennis and this piggy came. Do they come eat or what? Here or what? Yeah. Oh. You don't want to come at them? Yeah. Are you trying to follow us or something? No, no, no. Okay. Now it's good to turn it on because I'll probably follow that. Yeah. No, it's too bad. It's okay. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Are you smoking during the clock? Uh-huh, uh -huh. that's against your policy, my man. See, what's going on here, man? I don't know, you tell me. You guys had a good day so far? Hell yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, we put, we put some complaints. We're probably going to be suing the department. So... Yes, this is from YouTube. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You know my channel? I forgot the name of it. You asked me, but we've been on a couple of times. Yeah. Me? I don't know if you're the face exactly, but uh, someone mentioned it. You guys have done it. Probably someone else, because I've never been here before. No, no, not down here before, not the valley. I used to work out there. Oh, where at? Uh, Football Division. Oh, cool. So you know who I am, I'm assuming. I don't remember your name, sir. No, you don't? Oh, that's good. I'll probably follow you that, too. It's, it's not a problem. You're out here doing your first amendment thing. Everybody. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being cool, I guess. And I'm out here pushing it. I've been doing this for 25 years. For real? It's a fun job, and, you know. Can I get closer? Yeah, I'm not trying by, to, you know, like. By all means. Yeah. By all means. So what is it? So you have any message for all the people out there? I mean, any cop, they're, they're tyrants. I mean, they... Well, I think it's just like any profession, really. I mean, you've got a lot of good people, and some people are just, you know... But why is it that some cops, they don't like public filming? I don't know. I really don't. I've never, I've never minded it the entire career I've had. Oh. Have you checked out Casey Camera Boy before? Casey? Camera Boy? Oh, um... Is he, uh, he's had more videos out there, hasn't he? That's me. Oh, is that you? Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. That's what I was Oh, that's why I'm thinking, yeah, I know the name. I just have never seen a face to attach oh, okay. to it. Yeah. yeah. No, that's this, me. This, this job is an absolute blast. Oh, you were drinking coffee? Yeah. Oh, so that was the smoke that was coming out? Yeah. Oh, God damn it. I'm out here, I'm out here telling you if you were smoking or not. No, I just had a fresh hot, uh, fresh hot coffee. Oh, okay, I mean, that's good. Yeah, we're, we're wrapping it up. We're still going to hit the union thing. Uh-huh. So that's pretty much going to be it. Yeah, one of the things that the, you know, a lot of the kids forget, the younger officers forget, as long as it's a public place and not secured, you know, like a secure facility, you know, and you, yeah. from what I've seen, you've been very respectful when it comes well, to, try to like crime honest. scenes and things like that, you know, maintain, you know yeah. going to where you're designated to. So yeah, I'll try to. I don't like no pushing issue. it. Yeah. And, you know, the exercise of the first minute is very important. Yep. You know? uh, I mean, I've been doing this for like a year and a half. I was actually going to be a cop. I was a sheriff explorer. Uh -huh. Yeah, back in my high school days. So I kind of know how the system works. So I pretty much used it against you guys. I mean, the tactics and all that. That's what I can. I'm like, huh, what's going on here? Well, I think one thing, you know, with First Amendment audits, it's just like audits with the department does themselves yeah. and so forth. It shows where there's deficiencies in knowledge and practice and so yep. forth. Um, I've never seen you be uh, aggressive. I try not to. No, no, you're very respectful. Yeah, I try. Uh, I really don't. a little bit, maybe, just to see where people are at. But, I mean, that's normal. Sometimes, yeah. I mean, I'm the type of person that if you cross a the line, then that's it for you. I'll be honest. But if you don't cross it, like right now, you didn't cross it. I didn't push it. Well, like I was kind of pushing it, but... Yeah, a little bit, but... But that was it, but you've been cool. But if you would have pushed it, that would have been it for you. So are you going into uh, uh, study film at all? Film production? Well, I'm actually taking journalism in college next semester. You're right on that. Um, are you going to go four year or two years to start off with? Pretty much just like two semesters just to get like... A feel for it? So you feel for it, like. how does it work, what's the best shots, like how does the system work for journalism, but I'm not going to take it as a profession. Just to learn the basics, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Be more professional, that's what I'm trying to do, like be more professional. Guys, I think sometimes I misbehave a little bit, why well, don't get good shots, so they teach you the, the, how to get them, you know? Are you thinking about starting your own uh, your own uh, media program? That sounds beyond, good. Beyond YouTube, that would that be cool. I mean, I got three channels monetized. I'll be honest. So. Yeah, and that's great. But I mean, start your own company. Damn, that's that you're sounds interesting. I mean, you're, but you're a really young guy. Yeah, I mean, that's a, my thing is safety. Uh -huh. uh, so I just graduated from college as a safety professional, uh -huh. and then with a minor in psychology. So I'm either gonna go towards the workers' comp, 
um, legal thing, huh? or either I'm gonna go to this more I'm like about. a more like a paralegal thing. Or about going to law school? I'm thinking about it because uh, I'm close to Fresno State University and huh? they they're teaching pre-law, so that's where you first. Then I'm gonna move to university, but I'm either gonna go that or continue with my education and get my um, PhD or the doctorate uh -huh. that they call it in environmental studies. There you go. Yeah. So. And that's still, I can work with the government. I can work with the DHS department on that. Great field to work in, too. Yeah, I mean, as I said, I was going to be a cop. And I, I mean, if I had the chance to, to work for the government again or do something for the government, I mean, I'm not trying to say, you know, people are going to get mad at me. To be a, he's going to be like a tyrant or something. But no, I mean, I, I would like to make a difference if, if I ever worked for the government. I mean, I had the chance to work with the sheriff uh, program. So Which county? Uh, Kern. Oh, Kern County? Kern. Yeah. Uh, that's where I'm from. Oh, yeah, that's wait, Kirk County, yeah, the river. Yeah, Kern River and all that. So. I love it out there. It's beautiful. Yeah, so it was pretty cool. I mean, I know the basics on it. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't remember Bulletproof Vest being so heavy back then. Well, probably I was younger. Private purchase one, too, right? Yes. It's a little bit heavier. The ones we're wearing now are a little bit lighter. Oh, damn. A little more comfortable. Oh, that's and pretty cool. When you're 16, 17 years old, ah. you don't feel it. As we get a little bit older, you feel the weight a little bit more. That's what I was saying to my partners over there too like hey man like i don't remember six seven years ago like being this heavy and i mean it's so heavy now when it's hot out like this yeah you start to feel it yep sweat tell me about it i'm all sweaty from here and stuff i mean so you carrying one right now a vest yeah yeah i am wearing a vest it's one oh, of the wow. ones so you can't really see it i can tell wow yeah it looks pretty well, cool i mean no, that's fine I, mean, I believe you yeah hey you can't even tell yeah. That one's the private purchase ones tend to be a little bit. Yeah, cold. you can hit it. I mean, you can touch it. Oh yeah, it's a little bit, little bit thicker. Yeah, bit it's thicker. So it's a level four protection. Yeah. It works with the. I don't want to say it, but it works with the almost like the highest level there is. It's like one before the highest. The only, the only, the only plus the ones that we add, and I'm not wearing one right now because of what I do because I'm working security services. They have a trauma plate, an armor plate, which will take you. A lot of them will stop up to like a three weight. Oh. So Mine is for stabbing and all that. Stabbing and, and yep. small, well. I got that one. Probably that's why it's heavy. Yeah. yeah so. But you never know. You know, I'm in LA. I'm not saying people from LA are bad, but man. No, it's a great city. I might encounter someone that's that doesn't care about going to jail. He's gonna like. Yeah. You never know. You know. So we don't. We're not trying to get onto people's nerves. What I don't, unless they're actually pushing it. They're right. like, oh, I'm filming. Like I'm not even filming you, and they kept saying then. You know, it's funny, most of the First Amendment otters, the credible ones that I've come across in the field, especially out in the valley, because that's where I worked for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, as long as I was polite with them and know the rules, which I do, like let's say we're at a crime scene, a major crime scene, you have to stay outside of the crime scene yeah. for obvious reasons in designated yes. media areas. Yes. And they're all very cooperative. I got yep. to know a lot of them. Yep. Um, if there were issues, they would actually, they would call me. Um, okay. They would call me over and they'd let me know what was going on. You know, it's all on tape, so I don't have an issue. Never, yeah, I mean, never, ever. You know? that's, that's good, man. I'm glad you're like on top of it. You don't want to get in trouble. You, do you actually guys get in trouble? Oh, if, if they do the wrong things, yeah, absolutely. Right? Yeah. I mean, it, it varies for all the way from retraining up to uh, penalties, you know, like wow. suspension days and things like that. And a lot of them, again, is, uh, even though they're trained in the academy and they're constantly reminded, you know, the media and, and auditors and so forth, you know, civilian auditors and so forth, sometimes they forget. Okay. Yeah. You know? And it sucks, I mean, because I wasn't trained like that, you know, when I got my training and all that. Like, they didn't tell me, oh, you got to violate people's rights. And then I see cops doing that thing. I'm like, they didn't train you for that. So I'm like, uh, yeah. You know, the, the, a lot of the share, a lot of the Explorer programs now are getting really good about, um, even with the Explorer kids teaching. Because, you know, as an Explorer, you go out and do a lot of stuff in the field with the officers. Yes. It's on a ride along. Yep. Or you're doing, like, let's say you have the, a parade day or festival day. Fairs. Or the fairs. I used yeah, to be at the fairs. County fairs. Yes. Go to the Kern County Fairgrounds and you're working. So you're pretty much doing non-sworn but type police type duties. Yeah. So you have to be aware of the same things. Even a 16 year old kid has to know that. Yep. You know. Yep. Because that's between that age that you're supposed to do it. I was a senior. A senior. Well, going to senior and then I did my senior. I mean, part of my junior year and then senior. Yeah. Uh, that was pretty cool. I'll tell you that. I like it. I mean. You learn a lot. You get to interact with people yes. a lot. Yes. Yes. Uh, you interact with a lot of people, every kind of people out there. Like, it's just crazy. Well, like here in LA, because we have so many different types of people. Yeah. It makes that much more fun. Yeah. So, oh, I bet. Yeah, well, you have to study more. And I, I encourage the younger guys, 
get up, get online. When you, let's say you've got a quiet night, it's rainy out. Get online, Wikipedia. If there's something you don't understand about, let's say we have a specific culture or ethnicity or language. Yes. Read about it. Yeah. So the next time you go across, you come across you, you, one, you, you remember. You have an idea. You have them. an idea, and you know how to approach them. Things to talk about that'll get them a little bit more calm down. Because some places where people come from, especially in the yep. they see the uniform. Yep. It ain't good. Yeah. Some people are like, I mean, in my my mind, I don't think all cops are bad, but I know there are some that are. I think it's like that me. with any any profession. Any profession, yeah. yeah. Just like there are bad safety professionals, there are good ones out there trying to make a difference. Absolutely. Trying, yeah. And um, I think like with body cameras and stuff like that now, I think that's... More transparency? Really it's, it's, well, it, it's, it shows shortcomings because we as you know, we view it all the time. It shows shortcomings, we can address training, things like that. But it also keeps ones who might potentially be bad from being bad. Yeah, it stops them a little bit. You know? Yeah. Like today we almost got arrested, but I didn't, probably because of the camera. And we were streaming live. Oh. So, yeah. But yeah, thank you, Mr. Brown. Yes. Right? 4192. Yes. Yep, absolutely. And I will give you a business card. Too. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll take one. Because I was actually going to eat right now, so I probably have my food ready now. But I was like, man, what's you going on really, with the live? a really good place to eat. Uh, yeah, I like Dennis. Well, have you ever yeah. been, been over to the Earth Cafe? Not yet. You've never gone to the Earth Cafe? No. I have to go. All right. I love coffee. Well, if coffee and tea to begin with. But their food, awesome, incredible. It's all mostly like organic, healthy Ooh, cooking. Now we're talking business there. Fifth and Alameda. Okay. Um, you take Fifth uh, eastbound off Alameda, and then back where the all the artist lofts are. You'll see the the, the the sign spinning on the top of Earth Cafe. It's back. It's kind of off of a driveway, but it's the food there. It's, uh, they've got chains all over. I mean, uh, stores all over the place. Hollywood, West okay, LA. Okay. Cool. Well, leave me your info. Maybe we can meet up and have a cup of coffee if you feel safe with it. I'm gonna feel safe with you guys, really? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, we're just here having a little chat. Hey we were wondering where you disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I came back here because I didn't want you guys to think I was following you or nothing. Oh. Because I saw you at the station was, earlier. Oh, yeah. So, oh. But this is where I have my coffee break. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And uh, I didn't want you guys to think I was following you or nothing. Oh. So I came back here and then. And then he followed uh, you. Well, he, well, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so it's pretty cool. Oh man, hopefully we don't get kicked out. Howdy there. Uh, Sorry, I'm already uh, thirsty. Uh, yeah, here's your. Yeah, I told him. <laughs> what do you think about that? About what? Well, I told him kind of what happened, but like, I don't think I mentioned, mentioned uh, Clark, right? Oh, Clark, now yeah. Uh, Clark was being a little tyrant today. So, here's we're trying to. Generally, with like Thank when you. I deal with first minute routers and so forth, ah. um, I think I've seen you in a few videos. Matter of fact, not yeah. me. Did we? That wasn't him, huh? Uh, Brown. Huh. Yeah. I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I've dealt with some out in the valley before, like I was telling him, I've interacted with him quite a bit. Oh, cool. You know a lot of the guys, um, never had any issues. Yeah. Uh, we were over there trying to film at the at uh, City Hall, downtown. They have filming restrictions. Um, with inside the building. Yeah. Is it those um, signs? Are those no, signs? No, 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 no. In some places there are, some places there aren't. But, but usually the security personnel or officers will advise you to listen. Inside the building, there's certain things you can and can't do, which, yeah, is, yeah. which is okay. Yeah. Um, secure facilities like the police station or even the small station, you know, for security yeah. services and so forth. In the lobby is not a problem, obviously. Right, yeah, we can't go but behind. We can't go in security doors. Yeah. Like that, right. Hyper tech here. You can film from the driveway, but past the security, the guard yeah, yeah. check gets controlled access, things like that. Right. And as right. long as you aren't blocking the driveway. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, we know about all that. I mean, at the city hall, though, there were sections that's open to the public. And we right. were threatened with the rest. And it is convoluted, and they need to, I think the city, not the police department, the city needs to be a little bit more. But some areas are posted no filming, some are posted no filming. Right. And so forth. So. All right, perfect. Well, thank you so much for your time. Anytime. Appreciate that, so. Let me see your coat. You I did. <laughs> All right. But it's not a glass bottle, which is my favorite. True. Yeah. All right, man. Let me I shake your hand. Better. Anytime, brother. What's your first name? Casey. Casey. I go by Casey. That's fine. Right. Right. Probably. I'll probably Steve. call you and we have a Steve cup of coffee and time. yeah. Lisa. Lisa, nice, nice to, to meet you. Too. Oh, absolutely. stars with an A. So just to don't give you a hint. Casey, I don't even need enough, brother. As long <laughs> as I know your first name, I can be polite. All right, thank you. Hey, you is not exactly you know. Yeah. 
Thank you so much, bro. Anytime. Yeah, appreciate that. Stay safe and professional, man. All right, guys. Have a good one. Right. Thank you. you. Thank you. Too. Later. Take care. Anytime. Yeah. It was cool, man. I was pushing it at first, you know, but it was cool. Yeah, it was a little pushy right there. Huh? I thought he was smoking, but he was actually drinking his coffee, and it was hot, and that's why the smoke was coming out. Oh. So I was pushing it right there. I was being a little tyrant. <laughs> but, yeah, shit. I gotta test my, my employees, you know? But he was I'll cool. Say, I'll give him credit. Yeah. I'll give him credit. All right, Casey Camera boy. Like, share, and subscribe to everybody, Watchman and Investigations. Investigation News Network. I keep pronouncing it with the Ness. I'm sorry, my accent is strong. Okay, bye.